Hi there Virgo, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future. Okay, it's still going to be a love reading. All right, let's get started. Let's get the past energy for Virgo, please. The past energy for Virgo. Past energy for Virgo, please. It's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Sun in reverse. Oh boy, what's going on here? And the King of Swords in reverse, okay. And the present energy for Virgo. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, the Four of Cups in reverse. Why is everything showing up in reverse there you go the six of swords though okay and the future energy for virgo justice okay the hermit well that's you right there and the three of cups in reverse and then the overall it's the ace of swords in reverse so i really feel like there may not be any communication or someone's not really um, speaking their truth here. Or there's a lack of clarity. Especially when I compare it to the rest of the cards. Because I, when I look at the past energy, I see the King of Swords showing up in reverse. So this is not someone that's not really expressing or speaking their truth. That they're unhappy or that they're feeling quite unfortunate. Because I see that even transitioning into the present with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But I see you possibly acknowledging the connection and... Maybe even moving on here with the Six of Swords. Because when I look at the future energy, it's you kind of wanting balance. You wanting things to be done um, in an honest fashion. Okay, that's your energy right there. So I don't see there being any sort of reconciliation in this dynamic. So I have to clarify to figure out what's going on here. So someone's not expressing... Or speaking their truth. So let's clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse for the overall for Virgo, please. Okay. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in Reverse, the Two of Wands. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense here. The, there you go, the Three of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Okay, that's the reason. I feel like someone wants to communicate. Someone wants a reconciliation, but they're stuck at a crossroads here. So someone could be in a dark place because I see the Sun in Reverse and the Two of Wands. As you can see, this person stuck in um, this dark place and they, all they have to do is walk into the light here. So they have to make this choice. But it's like it's they're stuck in their headspace with the Eight of Swords, overthinking. Even though they do want a reconciliation here, they're not expressing it. Okay? Interesting. A lot of overthinking. Even though that's what they want. They want victory and success in this connection here. With the Three of Cups. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for the past energy for Virgo. The Magician in reverse. Oh my God, what's going on here? Someone's really in a negative space with the Five of Cups. They're not able to manifest anything out of this connection because they're in this negative space. So there could be remorse. They're feeling the loss of this connection. So there could have been self-sabotage with the Five of Swords. Now there seems like this person is in a major state of regret here. 
It's like five, five. So that could be a significant number. <sighs> the sun in reverse. Let's clarify the sun in reverse. This is a heavy reading. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Yep, yeah, there's no forward momentum. So someone's really missing you with the Seven of Pentacles, feeling nostalgic, okay? Um, thinking about the memories, possibly, or just... Yeah, it seems like that's the case, and it's like they're really unhappy. There you go, the Devil. Wow, they're obsessively thinking about this situation, okay? And I feel like they do want to open up communication. But it's like they could be seeing this as a missed opportunity. So the, the, the state that they're in is quite unhealthy here with the devil card. That's like heavy overthinking to the point of obsession, okay? So let's clarify the king of swords in reverse. The lovers, look at that. They're really thinking about this connection. But um, there's no brand new beginning. So someone sees this connection as being very special with the lovers. And it's weighing heavily on their shoulders, this disconnect. Quite overwhelming. So let's clarify the present energy. It's a very straightforward message. But let's see, the Empress. So they're seeing you as this Empress here. Someone that's very loving and very nurturing. Very beautiful. So I really feel like they do want to work things out with the Three of Pentacles, but I feel like it hasn't happened. Because if it was a Ten of Pentacles in the upright, this is talking about like wish fulfillment, right? Um, or like a happy family dynamic, something occurring in the 3D here, but it's not happening. And there you go, the Four of Swords. So this person's really thinking about you, okay, with the Four of Swords. There's stagnant energy though. A lot of sadness, remorse, regret. So let's clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. The Chariot in reverse, yep. So there's indecision. So this person not really making a choice here could lead to you moving on with the Six of Swords. This confusion. But look at that, the star. I feel like you are probably in a balanced place here, okay? This could even be you healing. Yep, look at that, the Nine of Swords with the Six of Swords. So this is you moving away from it's like the Six of Swords twice. This is you moving away from anxiety, possibly healing um, your headspace. So if there could have been a lot of anxiety, overthinking, I feel like this is you like wanting to be in a balanced place. So you're moving on away from conflict, okay? Or internal conflict. So this person could be feeling anxious as well. By So this is like, heavy contemplation to the point where it's obsessive, okay? And it could keep be keeping someone up at night. It could have been mutual, to be honest. Like, this could have been keeping you up at night as well. But I feel like you're moving away from that because you realize it's unhealthy as well, right? So let's clarify the Six of Swords. There you go, the Four of Cups, because there's a disappointment. You possibly feel like your cup is being ignored, okay? So I do feel like this person acknowledges this connection. So this is talking about like an important decision that you have to make here with judgment. And there you go, the Two of Swords in reverse. So this is you like taking control over the situation. And this is talking about like a decision you've made to get out of your headspace and possibly move on here because i see this person acknowledging the this this cup but not taking it 
So they do have options, but they're really focused on this connection itself. But they're in a really negative space, really feeling the loss of your energy. Okay, so let's clarify justice for the future energy. Look at that. This person could make things right, but they're not listening to their intuition because they're stuck in a negative space. And there you go, the moon. And they're keeping their feelings hidden. Okay. They could be feeling emotional. Yep, the emperor. They've been thrown off in this connection. So it's like the empress and the upright and the emperor in reverse. So this person, if they would listen to their intuition, they would be able to make things right. They would be able to balance things out. But um, I don't know if this person... So this could have been talking about like illusions, clouding someone's intuition here. And that's why it's throwing them off with the emperor in reverse. So let's clarify the hermit. Maybe they see you moving on, but it's like the hangman in reverse. So someone does want a reconciliation here. But there's stagnant energy. This could even be you picking up the pieces and rebuilding. But it seems like there is a disconnect here with the Two of Cups in reverse. So let's clarify the Three of Cups in reverse. The Six of Wands. I do see you moving forward here with the Wheel of Fortune. I see something taking a turn for the positive, but this is quite interesting. It's like the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and now the Wheel of Fortune is flipped around. So maybe if you're moving away from... There you go, the Three of Swords, though. I feel like you having to move on. It's like you taking control over your decision-making, possibly moving on from this, because it could be a very unhealthy dynamic, even if it may cause the other person pain, or your, your, you know pain within your own heart space as well, right? It's hard to move on. Especially if you care for someone, right? So it's like the hermit. Yeah. So this could be even you healing your heart space. So I do see the star and the hermit here. So I see it as you're moving forward, okay? Um, things start taking a turn for the positive here with the Wheel of Fortune. Even though it may hurt having to move forward. Okay? This is quite interesting. It's a very straightforward message. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> this is my thing now. <laughs> After a few readings, there goes my voice. And I have to keep sipping tea, drinking water. I don't know. <laughs> so let's get further advice from the angel cards. For Virgo, please. This was a really heavy reading. The emotions. It's like so much sadness. It's, I don't know. It's, it just, I felt it by looking at the images. Advice for Virgo from the angel cards. Two of Earth. Let me just show you the, the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. I don't know. Just seems like someone may have sabotaged the connection or there could have been created conflict and now there's remorse. Oops. So I took out two cards for you. I was supposed to take out one, but I was so caught up in the images. Seems like a very clear message. Okay, so this is talking about like, so it ends with the Wheel of Fortune. So the Two of Earth, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So I feel like this could even be related to this person, okay? Um, like they're really taking it hard, but if they just listen to their intuition, they would be able to make things right and balance things out here. And I find that this person could be confused. 
So maybe there's too much going on in one's headspace. Because I do see like there's a potential of a reconciliation. But someone's really stuck overthinking here. And now the four of water. Missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So this person gets out of this negative space. They'll realize that this ace of pentacles is available to them. This brand new opportunity. But they're stuck in that feeling of unhappiness, discontentment. And, you know, eventually you would have to move on, especially if there's no change, right? And now Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting in the process Dharma. So this could be even you, like, moving on. Um, and it's like trusting in the process with the Wheel of Fortune. That things will take a turn for the positive, even though it may be hard, okay? Even though you may feel heartbroken, or there could be pain, okay? So this is interesting. So those are your angel cards to finish off the reading, okay? And I'll see you next time, Virgo. Take care now.